to make beef bouillon. If you don't know what that is, it's those little tiny beef chicken cubes that you get uh, in a package, or it comes in like a, ba like a, um, it's like a, they call it, I think, beef base, and it's like a, what kind of consistency is that? I don't even know. It's like mud. It looks like mud, and it's um, just a little gritty, but you put it in, uh, it's, it's the basis for like soups and gravies and stews and things like that to flavor them up a bit. And so there is a ton of funky stuff in beef bouillon. And I took some pictures and we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about what's inside this stuff we're buying at the store. This is the back of a beef bouillon box. And as you can see, there's a bunch of weird stuff in here. The only thing I could imagine being normal in here is the dried beef maybe, but everything else looks pretty gross. This was the beef base, that thicker stuff. It's got a bunch of weird stuff in it as well. I picked this one up at Sam's Club. We're going to do it all from scratch here. I have some organic stuff, some non-organic stuff here. I didn't have all of these ingredients at home, so I did have to purchase a few of them. I had to purchase this mushroom, this nutritional yeast, and the celery seed. Actually, I had to buy the minced onions in it as well. So let's get going making our bouillon. We're going to start off with the nutritional yeast. I have never used nutritional yeast ever in my life. I know that it's a vegan supplement for, you know, meats and things like that. Uh, they say it has a cheesy, nutty, savory flavor. So let's try it out. I got it at Trader Joe's. That's not right there. I'm sure they have it other places. I didn't find it anywhere, like at Walmart and stuff, but maybe they do. I have to smell it. It looks like fish food. Oh, okay. It smells like crackers to me. <laughs> totally smells like crackers. Like a cheesy cracker, maybe. You want to smell anyone? Smell it. You can come smell it, Kayla. Smell it. Oh, it's a half a cup. Yeah, come <laughs> smell this yeast while I get the right cup out. I actually really like the smell of that. What do you think it smells like? It totally smells like crackers. It smells <laughs> like crackers. I just want to eat it. I know. Let's try it maybe later by itself. <laughs> Just to try it. Okay, yeah. so this is gonna call, this calls for a half a cup of this nutritional yeast, which makes sense to me now. We had to get out our big bowl again because this recipe is gonna be a little bit larger. We have two tablespoons of mushroom. Now, I don't have mushroom powder on hand. I looked it up online, everything seemed really expensive. But I heard that they had it at Trader Joe's, which worked great because I shopped there. But I've never personally dealt with this either. Oh, it smells good too. It smells like the onion soup mix we made. And a little fishy at the same time. All right, so two tablespoons. Now, <laughs> we're gonna have a mess situation. I'm gonna use this. This isn't exactly the type of mushrooms they call for. They call for plain mushrooms, and this has other ingredients in it. So we might be dealing with a little bit of another flavor here. I'll check that out in one second. What all this particular onion or mushroom mix has. We've got dried onions in here, ground mustard. We've got uh, porcini mushrooms and white button mushroom. And then they put crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. I'm a little concerned about the pepper in here for my kids. So we'll have to see how that works itself out. But otherwise, it just calls for the mushrooms. But we're already putting dried onions in here. We're already putting salt. So the only weird stuff would be the ground mushrooms. I, I mean, uh, mustard. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So I think this will work out great. The dried onions, which is so cool because I was saying in another video, I wasn't sure what I was going to use this for. I've been able to use it for quite a few things. So I will probably have this on hand again. Just keep it on hand. What I lose? And I'm already reusing the celery seed. Remember, I was like, I had to buy this. And I was like, what else am I going to use celery seed for? I'm already using it. Although that's not where I'm at in this ingredients. Time. Fine. Let's discuss how to pronounce this word. Oh, it's already open in a weird way. Do you have enough or are you running out of time? Every pun that you will ever see on our channel is courtesy of Justin. He's very punny, except for I just made a pun. Hmm. It's pun. Oh, I didn't get on accident. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's ponderful. That might've gone too far. Okay. 
teaspoon of dried thyme. Uh, like I was saying, thyme, thyme, what do you guys say? I like to say thyme. I don't want to say thyme. Dried thyme. Teaspoon of thyme. Dried oregano. I'm already starting to buy bigger things, uh, bigger jars of the ones that I use a lot. I just want to have it on hand, especially if I'm going to make my own. Did I say a teaspoon? I did. Especially if I'm going to make my own um, spices and things like that, or mixes of things, I want to have bigger items to work with. Next is paprika. This is out here for some reason, and it's not in this ingredient. Oh yeah, it is. I lied. I skipped it. I just skipped right over it. It's a teaspoon of garlic powder. Come on. I'm getting low on my beauty. They're going to have to pick me some up from Costco, Justin, because I didn't love the prices that they had at uh, Sam's Club. Teaspoon of paprika. I don't even know why I have these still. Some of these don't have them. I just take them off. I prefer it. I prefer to just go for it. To just feel like how um, I usually just, I probably already said this. I usually just put stuff in things however I feel like it. It always work, doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does. And so I like the lids off. Boop. Celery seed. It says teaspoon. I'm assuming one. <laughs> I'm going to go for one teaspoon of the celery seed. Smell it again. Okay. It does not say how much. Gosh, this is so messy. That's right, because I usually just pour it right into my recipes. I'm like, I don't remember being this sloppy with my stuff, but I've never measured things out and plopped them in places. So video, Nicole, is messy, Nicole. Okay, I'm okay with that, I think. Half a teaspoon of salt. So my friend Emily told me that I could just grind my salt right into the cap to not make that mess and not have to need something else. I didn't even think about it. Let's see how easy this is. Half a teaspoon of this salt. Whoa. I'm still going to do it over the thing. I'm not getting enough. That'll do. So this is our beef bouillon. Again, I love, look how pretty that is. I love that mix. I want to leave it like that. This is how pretty it is. But I won't. Just mix it up. So the next thing I'm going to do, I decided how we're going to try this. First of all, I'm going to make a dinner with it. But for this video, I am going to, oh, look again with the smoke. Okay. For this video, I'm going to just make a beef broth, and we're all going to just drink it. When I say we all, I mean Justin, me, and Kayla. We're going to just drink it. Let's give it a sniff, because you know that's how I roll. I can't even tell what it smells like. But we're about to find out what it tastes like. I'm going to start out with a cup of water and then do one tablespoon of this mixture. I have no clue. The recipe doesn't even say what you do. So I'm, that's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna go for it. Should I use a whisk? Not my. Yeah. Okay. Where's my beauty? <coughs> Excuse me. There she is. I'm gonna come here. You. So I have a question for you. Okay. So it says that it's beef bouillon, but there's no beef anywhere in the ingredients. So. That's a fantastic question. This is obviously some sort of substitute for that. I can find out. Maybe somebody on this video knows. I've never heard of like uh, dehydrated beef or anything like that that you can sprinkle into things. But this is a obs obsaboop. This is a <laughs> this is an obsaboop. This is a substitute for <laughs> this is a substitute for beef. I'm glad that you said that. And the flavoring that they're supposed that they're using in here to Substitute it is the mushroom and the yeast. So that's the answer to your question. Does that help? Does that help? You that does understand? help. Okay. It seems like a healthy alternative and for people who don't oh, yeah. eat meat. Uh, and so that would be a good option for them. I hope it's tasty. I'm actually excited to try it. So we're going in with one tablespoon right now. 
It's really light. It almost looks like chicken bouillon. But it's supposed to be beef. But we'll decide that for ourselves. It smells really good. Oh, it smells really good. Can you smell it, Justin? I can't, but I'm not the smeller. I'm going to leave it like this. Oh, yeah, now I can smell it. How should I do this as far as trying it? Should I try it once on my own, just out of here to see if I need to add? Yeah, it might be a little too. It? Yeah, it might be a little too hot, but so be careful. Okay. I wonder too, because there's chunks in here, if I should have let it cook a little while. Both both that out right now. Okay. It smells good. It's burning your flesh off hot right now. I think it's good. It's not, it's not strong enough yet though. I'm going to go for a whole other teaspoon. Nope. A whole other tablespoon of this in here. This was one cup to two tablespoons. Oh, you can really smell it now. Mmm. It smells good. How inappropriate is this? Just to go right in for it. I guess it's not bad when it's only your family. Don't do that if you run a restaurant. That's better. We'll have to discuss all of our opinions after I get this to these guys. We're going to use these medicine cups again because it works perfectly for taste testing. Okay, so this is actually settling to the bottom. So I'm going to stir us up a little before we try it. Interesting. I bet you the longer you heat it up, it will all disperse. Evenly. It's pretty fitting. Here it goes. It's pretty fitting these are in little medicine things because soup oh. is like medicine for the soul. <laughs> Ooh, mm. baby. Really? Yeah. I like that. Mm hmm. Really good. And not too salty. Well, I was going to talk about that because I wanted mine more salty. Me I feel too. like it's not salty enough. It's not salty enough for you. Then? I think yeah. it's, it's perfect for me, but I think the thing that I think. Is you can always add more salt. You ever have something like the bouillon cubes are too salty. You, you, you got to add water to it, which then waters down the flavor. For this, to me, it feels like all the flavor is there. So yeah, maybe if you want to add a little salt, perfect. Yeah, I would add a little salt. But do you guys feel like it tastes like a stock, like a beef stock or a chicken stock? Because that's what you use these things for to make. Yeah, I, mean, I, can, I, I don't really know what that is. So. It's just a uh, the base for a soup. Like when Kayla's a big soup person. So when you have your soups, does, and you have the brothy kind of soups, you like broth, like you like chicken broth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it taste anything like chicken broth, or it like does. it tastes like chicken to you? I feel like it you, tastes like. I know it just tastes like a broth type thing. I feel like it's more like a multi-purpose broth. Like I could see you using beef in this, and I think chicken would go in it. I think even fish might go in it, like shrimp. But it tastes like a nice broth, because that's oh, the yeah. purpose. Okay. Yeah, that is good. But and I love mushrooms too, and you can't. You can't really taste the mushroom, I don't think. What do you guys think? Oh, I, I don't. Taste it. I don't I like mushrooms. I can taste it. You can bit. take mushroom. You can taste mushroom. A There's bit. a little earthiness to it, which I, I think taste, is a mushroom. I don't taste delicious. a whole lot of mushroom at all, and I don't like mushrooms. Mm. I'm excited to have that. No, I don't taste any mushroom. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I do taste it broth. It does taste Good. brothy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we think. Let's see. We think. Oh, budget friendly. Okay, let's talk about this because I did have to buy a few things. How much was the yeast? Do you remember? Because you bought it. I don't remember. Just a couple bucks, like three bucks, I think. Okay. So the yeast, and we have enough left over to put it in things mm -hmm. to make this again, for sure. We yeah. can make this again. Everything used only like a tablespoon. Even this I could use again for my bouillon. That's probably, well, I, I don't know what else I could use mushroom for. I can figure that out. But all these ingredients mostly had on hand but two, well, three. And I have plenty left. So I feel like that's the point, right? Like to be able to use something for a long time and everything by itself was pretty reasonably priced. So I'd say yes, I'm budget friendly. Yes. I'd say yes, it was easy. It's adding yes. stuff into a bowl. Super easy. Yeah. Budget, easy, healthy, healthy. Yeah. Uh, the more organic you go and natural you go, the better it's going to be. But this nutritional yeast, let's talk about it for a sec. It's inactive nutritional yeast, dried yeast. It has some vitamin stuff they list here, but basically that's that's what it is. Not everything else is just straight up in its natural form. So healthy. Delicious. 
and mm. yummy. Super yeah, it was good. And so the last question I have is to me, it tastes better than the, um, the broth you get in the pre container that's already liquefied. To me, oh. it seems to me, it seems like this powder will go up much further, saves on room in your pantry, not having to take all the bulk of those broths. I feel like this is super simple to oh throw in, make I, a broth, boom, you're done. I don't even for one second think about it. I buy organic mm -hmm. uh, chicken broth for all my soups. That's my base. I never want for one second, for one second, that's right. For one second thought, I could replace that with this. That is such a good point. Oh my gosh. That's a whole new world of possibilities for me. Um, but yeah, you know what else I was just remembered was I was worried about the spice. I can even see the, um, uh, what are those called? Flip, not flakes. The seeds. Celery seeds? No, the, there was peppers oh, in yeah. this, yeah. in the mushroom. If you get the mushroom, zero heat. Cause I looked online. It's just exactly mushroom. It just will cost you more. This did not cost me much. And, but it had those pepper seeds, those red pepper seeds. I don't taste heat. No, no it's, it's such it. a good flavor. I yeah. did taste like a little bit of like something coming up uh so i thought oh that that could be the heat that's what reminded me to do it so i mean for the most part no heat but you can always splurge and get the online get the mushroom because i couldn't find it anywhere i'm wondering if like a healthier maybe like Rayleigh's might have it or some yeah. store that has like a bigger health section i don't know even just a health store probably yeah. has it anyway but thumbs up for me try it thanks for watching bye, bye. tonight for our dinner we made I'm going to say it how I want to say it right now. Pho. But That's Justin says... Pho. So is it either pho show or pho real? Yes. So it's it's P-H-O. Anyway, um, it's just like one of those like 30-minute meals. So it's not like the authentic you cook all the goodies up. And it's just a 30-minute meal. But we used our beef bouillon. And you're supposed to cook up your meat in here. So you put it in raw. But you want to come see it? I'm going to take that lime, obviously, and squeeze it on. But this is what it ended up looking like. That looks pretty good, right? And that's how we're going to end our night, with some dinner from the stuff we made today. That's all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.